This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, finally the combined mode of the Tunji Lul Tank Alliance. So this, you have all the individual... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, let's go back. You have all the individual bots and that's going to be all coming together with this. But there's some extra parts that you've seen on the, you know, the box that I, have, I haven't shown yet and that's the reason why all of the extra accessories the gun the head the feet and even the hands all combine and clip together to do this nice artillery set you know so that's awesome you so when you display all your figures in tank mode you can just have this sitting by with them so you don't lose anything and it's pretty solid it's pretty cool and there's no mobility to it except you know the little guns on the side will uh will turn but i think that's a nice feature so i'll actually take this and deassemble it on the screen so that uh i don't know why but i'm gonna do it and then we're gonna do the combine mode and then the gun and everything so it's gonna be a longer review i think but uh, i think it's worth it he's a little loosey-goosey i have to say um, you know, it's it's a combiner, so when you get to the top, it's, you know, it's, it's, but it's more stable than this guy, I have to say. I'm not as afraid to leave it unattended uh, than Jinbao Devastator, but I hope you guys will like this guy. And I haven't found a name for him yet, so, Revastator? No, that's, no. I don't know. Let's put in the comment, what would you call this guy made out of six tanks? Of course, Combaticon's already taken, so, you know, the Bruticus thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna need a, a name, maybe a French name. Like Maurice. Yeah, that sounds good. Before I do the uh, review, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature on my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And um, at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now, let's roll the intro. And here we are at the final moment of the review where I combine all of this and I don't know how it's going to look on camera. Might have to move things around. We'll see and we'll hope for the best. But taking a look at the artillery piece, that's what I call it. Uh, there's treads, there's all the cannons. This is how you store the weapons when they're all in tank mode. Because in robot mode, you know, they all have their guns. So this is all their guns, except this part here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This part here is, you know, not, doesn't go on anyone. You have the two feet, you have the two hands underneath, and the head right here. This is fantastic storage. You make a seventh vehicle out of the spare parts how genius is that so there you go so that's that's the coolest thing ever so you're gonna remove the guns because now we have to assemble the actual gun for the combiner which I don't know how I'm gonna call them really I don't know I've been goofing around with names but I do have to I like to have names for my characters so maybe I'm going to call him, and this is going to be lame, but I had a toy tank when I was a kid. And I used to call him Tankor. And I know it has nothing to do with the Beast War Tankor. I just love the name Tankor. So this is probably going to be Tankor. Not sure yet. So, oh yeah, you remove this piece here, this piece here. So, alright, this is the head sculpt. Fantastic head sculpt. Yeah, it's like a mix with Devastator and Starscream and Fort Max, and it's it's very inspired by Transformer. I like it. And then you have the treads in the back, you know. Looks really good. Looks amazing. Love this thing. 
All right, and then you have the gun. So the gun, so you have the instruction here on how, how to assemble everything. So this first page is what we've done in the reviews uh, this uh, so far. And this is how to assemble the uh, artillery. And this is how you combine everything. But um, let's start with Larry. Larry's missing a piece here. You want to take this chest piece here, which is really nice. Uh, silver, chrome, then gold with a little Tank Alliance logo on the chest. Looks really good. You have those two pins, those two holes. They're made for each other. Perfect match in heaven. So this is the chest area completed. Now you're going to take our boy Jerry here and you're going to add two pieces. So there's this connector here, which basically has two pegs are going to go into those peg holes. And while the rest of the crotch is going to slide um, here. Connects and boom. And then you have this part here, which is also going to go on Jerry. Four holes, one, two, three, four, and then five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How amazing and unpredictable is that? So I like to do the inside first, or maybe all at the same time. It's kind of hard once in a while. There you go. Push it down. And then you can move more easily the tank treads to fit the holes. There you go. So that's our Larry, the crotch guy. And after that, you have, uh, well, the hands. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? We'll do the gun afterwards. So the hands, first you have to unhook these. I was stressed to do so, but to clip them together because it's on a weird angle like you can see here you know it's not a straight angle you have to force them but they come out pretty good so these are the feet and there's no left or right or at least I don't think so but there are left and right hands so you want to open the heel and then pull out the hands I like that this is genius engineering, I'm sorry. I know it's a simple transformation, simple set since the beginning, but this is great. So now you're gonna take your, uh, which hand is that? This is your left hand. So you're gonna take our boy, uh, okay, hold on. Jerry, Larry, Rick, Strobe, no. Ah, man, I forgot the names. What's after, oh, Saint, Strobe, and Giant. So what you're going to do is open up the legs like this and you see here that's not just a hole here there's holes inside so you want to take that hand and put it okay which way uh, oh I have the wrong one yep it's this one here I guess if you play around with it you could make it um, like the you could interchange the, the arms so you want to put the hand in this and then put this back on top of it so now you have your completed arm with a hand sorry it's kind of messier than I expected ah sorry that was the right that's the good hand for this guy because I skipped the bot which is this one here and it's the same thing you open and the connections here so you want to go like this and you connect the whole thing i think that's pretty cool and the hands themselves you have a ball joint at the thumb so that's pretty cool rotates pretty much anywhere you have a booger picker with two points of articulation and then you have another point of articulation for the three fingers so pretty good and this part here is where the gun's gonna go this connector here and it's not easy to get there but we'll get there so there you go. So that's how you do the hands. And now the feet, 
Now imagine that you just take a feet and you shove it in there. And these two things here are gonna go inside here. And that's it. It looks flimsy, but the feet are probably the toughest part in this. And they have a nice articulation left and right. But there's, well, there's a slight up and down uh, or back and forth because of the way the joint is done. So I, don't know, I hope you can see it well. So that's one. And now, you know, same thing. But while he has more of a back and forth, that's pretty cool. And then you have, while he has less left and right. That's too bad. Oh, well. All right, so, and I'm wrong. This is the right. No, this is, yeah, this is the right. This is the left because of the way they're connected. And all right, so we're going to move these guys there. You have the head here. Sorry, maybe it's a little more chaotic than I would like, but... I hope you guys like the result. The gun, you want to take this part here, so that's going to be the handle. So you want to flip this, so that's going to connect in the actual, uh, you know, hand. You're going to put this one here. And then you're going to take his twin, which is here. Put it like that. And when you push one in, the other one comes out. So that's. If you're you have OCD, that's too bad. Once you have this, you're gonna wanna take okay, which one? This one goes. Am I missing one? No, there it goes. Yeah, this goes here. But before no 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 no. This goes here. But see there's a peg here, so you don't wanna push it down completely. There's a peg here for, because this goes here and that peg hole is gonna cover that peg. So it gives a little extra stability to the gun. This is gonna be your scope, I'm guessing. And then you have this. Problem with my, it's a little flimsy. Okay, well, well it just, you know, it's a little looser than I would have liked. Anyway, that's, the massive gun. This is very reminiscent of Devastator. But look at, this is very hollow though. Very hollow. I mean, the smaller guns are pretty good, but all put together, much waffle, much waffle. Let's set it aside and do the combine mode. I have no clue if this is gonna work properly. I might have to do a handheld stuff. So you wanna take your feet and you want to take this guy. Remember in the review when I unfolded these little tabs? Right. Uh, so you have those tabs here. Oh no, I'm wrong. Okay, so this is go. Sorry, for stability. So you want to put that peg into that hole here, like this. Or maybe I should do it backwards so that you can at least can actually see it. But you're gonna go like this and shove it in. You might want to unfold a little bit. Shove the other one in. There you go. Simple as that. And it's actually very stable. But my problem is when all the weight is on it, this goes backwards. So there you go. So that's step one. Uh, I need to raise my camera. Give me a quick second. All right. So now we're at the top of the figure. And you have those two pins here. And then you have those holes that are in the leg here and here and you want to take these like this and it's actually pretty tight let's flip it backward there you go so that so far it looks stable enough doesn't it but it's gonna get flimsy when you add the uh, the arms I mean it's not as bad as Devastator from Jinbao, but it's, you know, it's up there. Now, once you did this, might as well put the hand. So you have those two clips here on this side. You're gonna go into those holes here. There you go. Nope. 
I guess they don't... Yeah, they don't have any clips, so you just... Nah, 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 hold on. Nope, that's it. There's no... You have to keep the head there and put this down. So they don't clip. The head just sits there. And then you have... Your arm. So your connector here... Is gonna go... Oh, I guess I forgot to unfold these. Uh, there you go. So those are those are actually very similar to the Jinbao Devastator connector. And since I don't own any Hasbro combiner, I don't know if that's uh, something that they used to. So there you go. So you have this hand here. And the way that they tell you to do it is to... Hmm. Let me just look at... Oh, that's it. That's that's what they tell you to do. All right, so maybe if I angle it a little more, I'll have more room. And I'm gonna slide it in here while trying to knock, not knock everything on your table. Put the hand, there you go. Oh, see he's starting to flimsy out a little bit. Come on. There you go. And Put the other one in. It's easier if you get stuff out of the way like this. And close it. So there you go. I'm gonna put him all the way back so that we can get a semi-decent look at it. Oh, and the gun. Ah. ah, hold on. Off camera. Word of advice, guys. Get the gun in the hand before you put the hand in the tank. It's really a pain. Love this uh, combiner mode. See? Gun came loose. The gun is too big. Honestly, like, it fits, but it's too big. And this guy's a little clunky, so it's hard to pose. So sorry about the bad, the bad stuff, but uh, you do have... A full rotation because of the type of joint you could do it you do have a full rotation of the waist but the accessory for a waist gets in the way so that's too bad so the combined mode is not the most stable thing that you can have with this guy but it looks freaking awesome the face sculpt is amazing the colors are good the details are perfect the quality of the plastic is great the engineering is simple yet fun. I have nothing but praise for this set. I'm extremely happy that I've gotten this and I recommend everybody go get one. It's worth it, it's, it's original, it's you know not common. We haven't seen this in the past. Honestly guys, the Tunjalul Robot Deformation Tank Alliance, worth it, love it. And for scale, I guess we can end with that. Hold on, I'm gonna do Something unprofessional, but ain't held. Yeah. But this is what you get. You know, it's a little shorter than a Titan. But he looks really good. So that was my review of Tunjilu Robot Deformation Tank Alliance. I'm sorry it's clunky when you do big robots and combiners and stuff like that, but I really dig this guy. So I hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.